Hello my dear YouTuber friends and I hope you're all keeping well. Welcome to this new video which is following on from a video I released recently, I'll link it in the top right for you, about using your hat switch to look around in the external view like this. On this one I'm going to be showing you how you can set up your flight controller to use the drone camera like this. You've got various views up and down, so I'm using the rocker switch there to go up and down, forwards, backwards, I can increase the drone speed via a couple of buttons, increase and decrease, tilt the view, pan right and left. I'm going to show you how to set this up with your flight yoke system or whatever flight controller you may have with Flight Simulator 2020. So let's do this. Okay, so before I show you the specifics of how to set this up, let me show you what I've got currently set up. Obviously, I've got move forward with my drone camera, backwards, left and right on my hat switch. I've got move up and down on my left rocker switch. It depends what flight controller you're using and where you want these switches set. These are set to other bindings in Flight Simulator. Whilst in the drone camera, it doesn't seem to affect the other settings I have set up. So keep that in mind. On this rocker switch, I've got the drone view moving left and right or panning left and right. I've got this rocker switch set to tilting the camera down and up like that. I've got a button like this on the back of this uh, left sort of handle and that's increasing my drone view uh, speed. So if I put it, hold it down for a bit, now you can see my drone speed has increased quite a lot. If I hold this button down for a while and now move my drone camera, you can see, let's try that again. You can see it's now slowed down. Obviously I'll be using this with both hands. It's a little bit tricky whilst recording it. Uh, there you go, you can see it's well slowed down now. And if I hold this down, it should speed back up again, like so. I've got a couple of extra switches and it depends what you're using and where you want these set. I've got this to take me back into the cockpit view. view on my throttle quadrant, I've got this button set to put me in drone camera again, like so. So that's what I've got set up. Now let's jump onto the PC and let me show you how I did this. Okay, so we're flying over London in our Icon aircraft. I've deleted all my assignments so controller assignments for my drone camera so I can start like you'll be starting from fresh if I go into my assigned this is what I've got assigned camera you can see nothing for drone camera there so let's go back to the simulator let's just active pause that and if I go to my drone camera I'll have to go up here to get to drone camera like you're probably all doing at the moment click on showcase and because I don't have my hat switches or rocker switches, I'm moving them now, assigned currently. Nothing's happening. I would either have to use an Xbox controller or the keyboard like this to move around with drone camera, like a possibly a lot of you are doing currently. But now let's get this set up. Actually, let's just close that menu and go back to our cockpit view there for a second. Let's get our drone camera set up for our flight controllers so we can use it on our flight controllers. So the way to do this, press escape if you're in flight, if you're on the main 
uh, menu in Flight Simulator, you've, you've just started Flight Simulator, just go to Options, then click on Controls. You want to ensure that whatever flight controller you're using is selected. In my case, it's the Flight Yacht System. This is showing me, I'm going to talk you through this slowly like I always do with my videos, for newcomers, for those who are not familiar with this menu system. This is showing you all the assigned buttons. As you can see, I've got various camera and cockpit camera and external view that's using our hat switch like I showed you in the video previously, how to use your hat switch in the external view, that's all set up. All the buttons we've got set up, but nothing to do with drone camera like I mentioned before. To get to the drone camera options, you have to go to the filter here. Left click on the right arrow to take this to all. And now it shows you all the settings once again. Everything you can set up and 90%, 95% in fact plus we're not going to be using it and most people don't use to get rid of a lot of these menus left click on the main menu so we'll close miscellaneous we'll close instruments and systems left click on the main menu camera we want to be in this is where our drone camera is we don't want slew mode so we can left click on the slew mode heading to hide those options you probably have to left click on camera mode and cockpit camera to get to your drone camera settings. Now let's set these up. So to use our hat switch, we want to scroll down in the drone camera settings here. Just scroll down to get to translate. Uh, drone backwards is the first one. So we're going to be setting our hat switch for this. So scroll down to you see this, translate drone backwards, depending where you want the setup, I want the setup on my hat switch. So this will move my drone camera backwards. Left click in there, left click in start scanning, and move your hat switch down. And it will say you've got that set up to external view, look down, and cockpit view quick quick view uh, rear don't worry whilst in drone camera even though I've got this set up in two different places it's not going to affect that you're not going to just suddenly switch to cockpit quick view rear or external view look down if you're in drone camera so it's safe to set this up in a few places so I've got our translate drone backwards set up click validate I want our translate drone move forward this would be the hat switch up in this case so left click in the box left click in start scanning move your hat switch up and like I said before it's binded to a couple of different options already don't worry whilst in drone camera it's not going to trigger these other views so we can click validate there and we've got translate drone left, obviously our hat switch left, left click there, left click in start scanning, move your hat switch to the left. And again, don't worry about where it's set up in other options, it's not going to matter. Click validate and translate drone right, obviously hat switch right, left click, left click in start scanning and move your hat switch right. And again, don't worry about them. Click validate and click apply and save to apply it to your uh, profile you have set up and are using. Now, let's continue on our left handle on our flight control uh on our flight control system, in, in my case my Logitech flight yacht system. I'm gonna go use the rocker switch. I'll put an image on screen. Translate drone down and translate drone up. So left click in translate drone down. Let me just make sure that's right. I think it is. Yep. Left click in start scanning. And I'm going to use my rocker switch down for translate drone down. 
on my left handle on my flight yacht system. Click on validate and obviously translate drone up, left click and move that rocker switch up and again don't worry it's t it's binded to toggle landing gear whilst in drone view it doesn't trigger landing gear so don't worry about that click on validate and click apply and save let's just go and test these few settings we have set up so I've got it on an active pause for the moment I'm gonna have to use my mouse to go to the showcase camera I'll show you a shortcut for this where you can set a button up so you don't have to do this later on but if I move my hat switch forward backwards you can see it's now all set up if I move my rocker switch on my left handle on my flight yacht system up and down you can see that set up too so so far we have these options set up beautifully let's move on okay so whilst we're still in the drone view it doesn't matter because we'll be coming back to this we're going to set up our right handle rocker switches and it'll be tilt view up and down and pan view left and right so let's go back to our press escape to get into options left click on controls make sure your flight yacht system or your flight controller is selected here mine is i'm going to go to filter all again because i want to set up more switches so left click on that arrow i'll have to click out of these menus again left click to hide these menus till i get to my drone camera which is there now i want let's set up uh, your drone left and right so we'll go down whilst in the drone camera options just make sure you're in drone camera scroll down so you get to your drone left and right there it is left click in the your drone left and on this one i'm using my right handle rocker switches i'll show you an image on screen to your my view left and right so left click and start scanning and I'll use my rocker switch to the left here and don't worry it's got aileron trim left it's not going to trigger whilst in drone view so don't worry about that click on validate and your drone right obviously the same thing left click in the box left click and start scanning and move my rocker switch in this case to the right and don't worry about that aileron trim right again it's not going to trigger in drone camera view click on validate and click apply and save now we want to get to pitch up and pitch down now again on my right handle rocker switches i'm going to use i'll show you an image on screen which rocker switch i'm going to use for this so pitch drone down left click in the box left click and start scanning in this case i'm going to move my rocker switch up to move my view down and don't worry about that elevator trim down it's not going to trigger in drone camera view click on validate and pitch up left click on there left click start scanning I'm going to move that rocker switch down and that will pitch my view up and then click on validate and click apply and save let's go and test that now so let's resume so if i go left and right on my rocker switch on my right hand handle rocker switches you can see it's panning my view left and right if i move my rocker switch up and down for the pitch up and down you can see it's pitching my view up and down and you can set these buttons you don't have to follow my example exactly you can set other buttons which are comfortable to you please keep that in mind this is not the absolute best way to do it it's the best way for me you may want this set up set differently with different buttons go wild with it 
it's up to you which buttons you use for this. But this suits me. So I've got my move my drone camera left, right, forward, uh, backwards and forwards. Translates my view up and down, pitch up and down, and pan left and right. Now I want to set up a couple more buttons. So let's go back, press escape, go back to controls, make sure your flight yacht system or your flight controller is selected, whichever controller or yoke you may be using. Go to filter all. Get to your drone camera settings if these are not open. So left click on camera, left click on drone camera to open these options. Now, I want to get to decrease and increase drone translation speed so I can speed up my drone and I can slow down my drone. So let's click on first increase drone translation speed. I'm going to use my button on my left handle on my flight yacht system. It's just behind the left handle to increase the drone speed. So left click on start scanning and I'm going to press that button. It's assigned to my wheel brakes at the moment. Don't worry, whilst in drone camera view, once again, brakes is not going to trigger. So click on validate there. So I've got increase. I now want decrease translation speed. If I can find it, there it is. It's just a bit further up. Decrease drone translation speed. I've got a button on my right handle. I'll show you an image. I'm going to set for that. So left click in the box. Left click on start scanning and press the button you want to assign to decrease drone speed. And validate. And there's one other button I'll set up whilst I'm here. Click in the drone view menu on filter all drone camera menu scroll right down to the bottom of all these settings in your drone view and you get to toggle drone camera i would advise setting a button for that that means you don't have to mess around with the mouse let's uh, let's just did i just delete those settings i hope not i believe they're still there yep I didn't apply and save, my bad, I made a mistake, but I could still save it, I could still apply and save to save those new settings I've just saved. Let's go to resume. If I want to get to my drone camera, so I'm in cockpit view here, I've got no button set to jump to my drone camera at the moment. I have to go up here and then, oops, this will normally, normally be closed. I'll have to go on here, click on that camera icon and then click on showcase like a lot of us do. I'm going to set a shortcut for that. Let's go back to my cockpit view and I'll show you. Actually, let's just get rid of that box so that's not there normally. Press escape so you're in options. Go to controls again. Make sure your flight controller is selected. Go to filter. Left click on this arrow to go to all so you get all your options again all the possible options you can set get back to your drone camera settings and like i said scroll right down to the bottom of that drone camera menu and you'll see toggle drone camera i'm going to show you an, an image of a button that i'm going to set for this so i'm going to left click on that left click on start scanning and now i'm going to left click Oh, sorry, I'm going to click the button that I want to set to toggle my drone camera. And validate. And by the way, just for completeness, let's go to filter assigned now. So the buttons I have all assigned. That's all the drone camera options you probably own all the ones you'll need basically there's a couple of other options as you've seen in filter all that you can set up if you want to these are all the ones i tend i find that i tend to need i did set up one extra button which is my cockpit camera 
and toggle cockpit view. So I can toggle between cockpit view and external view and drone camera and goodness knows what. Let me show you this in the actual uh, simulator. Don't forget to apply and save your settings. It's always a good habit to get into so click apply and save that's now applied it and saved it to my profile that I have set up click on go back resume I've still got it in active pause but if I let if I click the button I've set up now for my drone camera it will take me to drone camera automatically let's play around with it with all the settings I've just set up I want to decrease my drone speed I'm holding the button I've got to decrease speed and look at that it's going nice and slowly let's increase that speed again let's see if we can get to Q Gardens quickly so I've increased holding the button to increase speed and we're at Q Gardens already and as you can see tilting up and down left and right moving my drone camera up and down it all works beautifully using my hat switch to move my drone camera about using my rocker switch to move it left and right as you can see it all works beautifully so that's how you set up and if I want to get back to my cockpit view so I want to get back into my cockpit I've got a button set up for that like I showed you before I'm gonna click it I'm in my cockpit I'll click off active pause and I'm back into the simulator flying I want to pause that I've seen something interested I'll click the button for my drone camera and without using a keyboard or a separate controller, I'm zipping around the world in my drone camera. So there you go. That's how you set up your drone camera on your flight controller. You can do this on a yoke, any yoke you have that's got various buttons. If you've got a halter system with many buttons, you can set it up in a similar way. Let me know your thoughts below. Give the video a like if you've enjoyed it, subscribe for more, and I'll see you soon.